Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In the video of today I'm going to be answering a question I found in Ross Answers, which is this one here. It says, who to know pose of Turtlebot? Hello, I want to know the pose of Turtlebot, X, Y, Z, rotation, respect to the point from which it started. What is the way, the best way to do that in Python? Okay, <clears throat> so let's try to, to answer this question and for that I'm going to use RDS as always. So let's go to the RDS website. You can create an account by following the links in the description of the, of the video. So we will go to the public simulations here and I'm going, I'm going to launch now this Turtlebot simulation in order to do this demonstration. So let's run it and wait a few seconds until the simulation loads There we are, excellent. So yeah, for obviously for knowing the pose respect to the point from which it started, uh, the best practice I would suggest is to use the Odom topic, which tells us the odometry information. So in this simulation you will find a, a topic, which is this one, that is called Odom. And if you check the information of this topic, you will see that it is exactly what you want. So here you can find the position, the pose, with the position and the orientation. Yes? Which now it's the position is set to, to zero. Yeah, this this is a zero because it's an expo a negative exponential, which is like a zero. Yeah, so the starting position is at zero and the rotation is the orientation sorry is this one here, yeah? So, how will we know this using Python? Well, I think the best way to do this is by creating a subscriber, of course, a, a topic subscriber, and let's do it in, in, in Python. So, yeah, let's go. Let's create our package. Cut clean for your package, and I'm going to call it check holometry, for instance. So now it will appear here, there we are. So let's create a launch folder and a source folder. And inside the source folder, let's create our Python file, which will be checkodom.py. Excellent. And here let's create a very, very simple subscriber. So let's import rospy and from the nav messages package we will import the odometry message. There we are. So now let's create a node. Let's create our subscriber. Let's call it Odom Sub. We will subscribe to the Odom topic. And it will use the odometry message, of course. Then here a spin and we'll have to define as well a callback function there we are so each time the subscriber 
gets a message. Into the autumn topic, this callback function will be activated. Yes? So inside this callback function, let's print the odometry information. In this case, the odometry we are interested in is the pose. Yeah, so we will be we just get the pose of the message because the message is quite big, but we are just interested in this section here. Yeah. So we are going to print message dot pose dot pose dot position. Well we can just print the wall thing. Yes, the wall pose message. So yeah, uh, that's all. So let's create now our launch file in order to launch this Python script. Let's call it checkodom.launch. There we are. Our output will be the screen in this case. Our package is called check odometry. The script is let's see check odom.py and the name of the node it was check odometry. Great. So yeah, let's test. This is a script. Let's do it here. So let's launch our our subscriber. It's uh, sorry, check geometry. Okay. There we are. Okay, so it's not publishing anything. Mm, let's see. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, of course. I have to state here my callback function. Yes, because if, if I don't tell which callback function to call, it will do nothing. Yes, so now I'm saying that whenever a new message is published into the autumn topic, this callback function will be called. Yeah, so it was this. Let's ex execute this again. There we are. So now I can get the position and the, and the orientation at any moment. Yes, yeah, so for instance, let's do a quick test. Here the position is 0, 0, and 0. This is a, a, a negative exponential, so it is a 0. Yeah. So let's move a little bit our Kubuki. using the keyboard teleop so for instance if we move our if we move our robot in the x axis so a little bit forward let's say here and i execute again my python script you will see that the position in X is now 1, yes? So it has changed from 0 to 1, yes? So now if I move it backwards instead of forwards, let's move it around here, which is, it should be minus 1 in the X axis, more or less, yeah? Let's check it. Yeah, there we are, minus 0 point, point 0.9, so more or less minus 0 0.1, one, minus 1, yeah? So, yeah, this is a very simple Python script with a subscriber, with a raw subscriber to read the autumn topic. Yes, so this is an easy and quick way you can know the pose of Turtlebot in Python. So yeah, 
that's all for this video. I hope it has helped you to clear a little bit your ideas. And well, if you have liked the video, please uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel because we will keep publishing content like this, doing tutorials. So, so that's it. So subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.